Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about if you are second guessing your acting choices, which is a very dear topic for me. Um, so you may have caught yourself, you know, you're getting an audition, you're getting your sides and you get really excited because you have an audition and you start working on it and you prep and you've trained so much, you're so excited, you're ready. And then when you get to the choice part, you make your first choice and it feels good, but very soon after you start to feel the doubt creep in, like is it the right choice? Shit, should I make another choice? Or is this the best choice? Or is this what they want? Or will they like this choice? Or will this choice make me book or should I do another one or will another actor or actress make a better choice than me right and you start going down this rabbit hole and pretty soon you kind of leave that solidness and that intuition that you had with the character and you get in a zone that's very very uncomfortable it's very unfulfilling um you start losing in a way your artistic commitment right to the character and you start connecting actually to an outside authority, which is what should I do? And I get that that's really, really frustrating because at the start you were really excited to act. You get the audition, you're really, you're really looking forward to defend this character. You want to do this. You want to feel this character. You want to be in that zone and that moment feeling completely alive and defending someone else's needs. You're really in for it but then you kind of lose all your shit because you're second guessing that choice. And so I really get that that can be painful, that can be scary, and that's definitely unfulfilling. And so you may have tried because you may have caught yourself there a lot of times, especially for important auditions, for bigger roles that you have access to. That's usually when I see actors who move into our community lose it more and second guess themselves more because there's more at stake, and there's a bigger outcome and it could you know getting the role or doing the part right could have great consequences for you and bring more work and so that's when there's more self second guessing and more doubt is creeping in right so i get that it's really painful and so you may have really um done the hard work of going from acting class to acting class You've done the hard work of looking for the better mentors. Some of you even travel across continents to, you know, work with the best acting teachers in the hope that you won't land in that no man's land where you have a choice and then you throw it out because it's burning and you pick another one and another one and another one, hoping and panicking that you'll find the right one that will make them like you and that will make them book. And of course that doesn't matter because what's really happening actually is that in your childhood and therefore at school and therefore in acting school you have been trained to disconnect from yourself you have been trained to disconnect from your intuition and therefore i'll push it even more by saying you have been trained to distrust yourself you have been trained to trust external authorities, meaning what people want of me, what would people like to, for me to do to please them, more than what is actually happening inside of your truth, inside of your heart, inside of your soul, inside of your artistic being. You've been trained to not trust that, to actually distrust that, to let that go from every single moment in your childhood when you've had the intuition to rebel you've had the intuition to surrender into sadness you've had the intuition to fight back to rage you've been told to shut up you've been told to be quiet you've been told to behave you've been told to think like others to feel like others and you've been told to stop whatever it was that you were being in order to conform to what others are supposedly doing better than you. So you have become extremely good at distrusting yourself in order to trust the external authority, whether the external authority was mommy and daddy, school, or later the casting director or the director or the acting teacher.
right? That's what you've been trained for. So inevitably, when you pick up a part and you start working on it and you have an intuition that makes your choice go in a certain direction, the second thing you'll do is you'll cross it out. The second thing you'll do is you'll second guess it. You'll doubt it. Why? Because you have been trained, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you've been trained to literally doubt and then re reject and repress everything that you have ever felt, everything that you have ever thought, every behavior, every feeling, everything about you that came uniquely from you, from your heart, from your core, from your intuition, you have been trained to distrust. You've been told, don't feel this, feel that. If not, this is the consequence. So of course it's dangerous to go with your intuition. It's dangerous to go with your, your, with your instinct, to make a choice that comes from your heart without actually worrying about what others will think. It's dangerous. It was dangerous in your childhood since the first day. So it's not a big surprise that when you're working on a part and you're making a choice, it feels good for a little bit and right away creeps in the doubt and the second guessing because you have been trained to not ever trust what comes out of you, but to negate it, deny it, repress it, hide it, shame it, and be what others want you to be. Behave like you're told. Think like your brother. Feel what I'm telling you to feel. Learn what I'm telling you to learn. Sit down like I'm telling you to sit down. Eat at the time that I'm telling you to eat. Pee even to these days at school. You're not supposed to pee when you want to. You pee when you're told. Because mm. that's the culture we live in. And I'm being very sarcastic, but it's true. My son's 15 years old and he was telling me the other day, someone asked in the history class, can I go to the bathroom? The teacher said no. Basic human rights, basic human needs. It's not okay. Right? So, um, what to do when you're realizing that you're in the loop, you're caught up in the loop of denying your instinct, your intuition, what feels true to you in your artistic heart, scratching that, throwing it out the window, abandoning yourself, abandoning the character and starting to loop through, what should I do? What should I do? What's the best thing I should do? What will they like? What will please them? What will be better than the others? When you get caught in that vicious cycle, the first thing to do is not to go to another acting class that would teach you another method of, on, on how to improve being you, on how to be a better you, on how to improve being a better actor, because you're a perfect actor already. Acting is the art of being, of being fully alive, and you're a human being. You're fully alive in the only way that you could possibly be alive. And that is where your art is, that is where your gold is, that's where your magic is, that's where your genius is. No one can teach you. No one can teach you art. There's no recipe to art, there's no method to art, not in any artistic discipline. Never. There's never been a masterpiece that's been done in a formula. No, it comes from the core, it comes from your heart, from your soul, from everything that's deep, 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 deep down, you and that no one can have access to because only you do and that's your gift to the world. So what there is to do when you're caught in that loop is one, do not go to another acting class to hope to fix that. What there is to do is to get clear. What is happening? If you're looping to satisfy the external authority rather than being devoted to your truth and to the character's needs, get clear. What is happening is not a problem that you have. That is the result of conditioning. It's the result of your training, your education, your wiring, your programming. You have been trained to deny and repress your truth, your intuition, and your instinct. And therefore, when you make a choice and it comes out, the best thing for you to do is to deny it, repress, and hide it, and go for something else that will satisfy the external authority aka the casting director in this in this situation right so get clear conditioning is the issue you are not the issue 
So what's the solution? The solution is to work through this conditioning, to undo this conditioning, to undo these learned behaviors of denying yourself and abandoning your character so you can go back home, so you can go back to you, to you, the artist, to you, the unique soul that came to experience itself and gift itself to the rest of the world through its artistic expression. That's the work that there is to do. Unlearn your conditioning. Don't go out there, learn something else. There's nothing to learn as an artist. The only thing to discover and let unfold is your truth, your soul, your heart, your beauty, your absolute genius, and let that shine through whatever it is you do your song, your book, your scene, right? Unlearn the conditioning. So if that makes sense, shoot us a DM, write undo in your DM, and we'll send you some information on how we can support you into doing that. All right, this is resonating. This is resonating. I'm glad it's resonating for you guys. Yeah, so to conclude, if you're catching yourself in the loop of second guessing yourself and self doubting your choices, look at it for what it is. There's nothing wrong with you. There's not an acting method that's needed for you. You don't need to improve quite the opposite. You need to spit out everything that's been shoved down your throat against your will since you were little. That's what you need to do. Unlearn your fucking conditioning so that you can get you back so that you can do justice to your soul and to your character and not abandon yourself and your character and therefore the story and therefore the audience and the whole enchilada that this is actually concerning. Okay. All right. Spit it out, guys. Let's undo this shit. Let's unlearn it. DM me, undo, and we will send you some information. Okay. Good to see you guys. Happy Monday. I hope this fires up your week. Um, trust your guts and your intuition. Trust your instinct. Trust your truth. There's nothing else that you came to live. There's nothing else that anyone wants to see and nothing else that any story needs but you. Okay? Let us help. Um, Peter, I'm quickly going to read your message. Often the problem is that we feel our instinct is to be safe and that can be death to experimenting with danger. The tight rope without the safety net, like you always say, unite yourself. Yeah, that's that's the work we do, <coughs> which is to undo that conditioning and rebuild your instinct, your intuition, your freedom, your truth, so that you can like undo your, you know, your old pattern as you rebuild your new one, so that there is safety in your body by recovering your full self. Safety is inside of you; it can't ever be outside of you, right? It's when you're being you that it's safe. Everything else, you trying to be in other people's fields, trying to please, trying to get accepted, try to be validated, that's where it's dangerous because you're leaving yourself, you're abandoning yourself every single time and that's unsafe. The only safe thing to be and to do is to be you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for your participation and your commitment to your truth. See you on Wednesday for another interview. Bye.